Okay. Okay, I think I got all the buttons pushed and everything set up the way I want it. I'm going to do this test on my live feed on Facebook. And then I'll show it, share it over to the BBI Amps group. And at the same time, we're going to film this exact same test for the YouTube channel over here on the Sony SS5. Or SF5. Yeah. So, first we're over here on the YouTube feed. This is our voltage at our cap, no, our battery bank. And we're focused on our battery bank. I came out and I did this, this video um, a couple weeks ago, or about a week ago, involving this battery cell. And I used um, a 1000 amp carbon pile load set and put a 1000 amp load on this little tiny cell and held it there for a significant amount of time. Caught the thing on fire. So this cell is five inches wide, or five, yeah, five inches wide and approximately 15 inches long. It didn't really cross compute to any of my guys, any of you all on Facebook or any of you guys that watch me on the YouTube channel, exactly how important this little hunk of technology is. Yeah, I set it on fire. That's right, I did, Ron. Hey, Robert. So, what we got going on here is this is our charge leads from our bench, and this is our charge lead from the bench. This is the lead going off to our amplifier, which is a 16 pill. This is the lead going off to the amplifier, which is a 16 pill. We're not here to talk about the amplifier today, not at all. We're here to talk about this battery. And what everybody's been bugging me for is give us a demonstration on how well this runs a real amplifier in the real world. Here we are. And I'm doing it here and I'm doing it over on the YouTube channel as well. We're going to need that here in just a minute. This is going to go on for a longer period of time than you all think. Um, when I came out with the super capacitor technology, a supplemental technology, um, it, it would hold it for a little while. This is a whole different ball of wax. This is a whole different ball of wax. So we've got this thing fully charged, as you guys can see on the volt amp gauge over here in the corner. We're at zero amps going in. We are going to disconnect our positive lead. Hey Alan, Merry Christmas to you too. Hello Robert, Merry Christmas to you. Hey Mark, Merry Christmas to you. Rick, Merry Christmas to you. Dan, Merry Christmas to you. Morgan King, Merry Christmas to you. Josh, Merry Christmas to you. Guys, make sure to share this link. I've made it publicly shareable. Because this is going to fry everybody's mind once you see how this works. So we're at 15.74 over here on the volt, volt meter, which all that is doing is measuring the volts. This is our amps, and that is going to be our watt meter. So let me go over here and physically disconnect the charge leads on the ground. Remember, no more than about seven inch pounds worth of torque on those nuts. Now we're going to pull the charge leads completely out of the equation. Gone. So the only thing hooked up to the bench power supply is our four pill driver. So batteries are standing all by themselves. 100% all by themselves. Let's rehook up our voltmeter. Of course, doing live on video and everything's got to fight me. Okay, so we're floating at 15.7. Come in here, I'm going to make sure the light stays on for the clamp over ampering. So, we're all set. Let me first show you drive that we're going to put into the 4 pill, or the 16 pill. We put about 600 plus watts, about 625, is drive into the 16 pill. 
We're going to take this down to 5x. And so, let's start our timer. All right, ready? Set. Now remember, there's nothing attached to this battery. Nothing. We're floating at 15.72, 16 pill, 5x peak meter, 5x peak meter, 1,000 watt on average, 1,000 watt on average. And you guys on YouTube that are going to be watching this later, I'm doing this live on Facebook, on my group on Facebook, and then I'm going to, I'll share it around, but that's the reason I'm having to point at this multiple different times. You see my hand dancing around. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Hello, Richard. Hello, Robert. Hello, Brian. Hello. So there's 4,500 watts peak power. Hello. About 300 ish amps here. And look at our volts on the battery. Hello. One, two, one, two, one, two. Yes, sir. This is how this is going to go. Hello, Jason. Hello, Josh King. If you guys need to back out, share this to your profile. Feel free to do that because we're going to sit here and we're going to be here for a while. Hello. One, two, one, two, one, two. Now we're going to give the amp a second to catch up. And what I mean by that is the 16 pill. Because in real world, you would not be using this underneath a constant key down operation. And also in the real world, you would not be using this battery this way where it was standalone. But people have no faith until they see it actually working. So we're going to run this test even though it's completely pointless. I've already done this once. I know the end results. I did it on video as well. It's going to be in the end of your video. Please take a look at our meter here, our volt meter. We're at 14.94. Look at our amp meter. 1.9 amps we're pulling with the fans. Hello, what do you go? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, Hubbard. Josh King. Got my name called on Facebook. Oh, FM Christmas this year. Awesome. Robert uh, Paget. Well, regular alternator maintain this battery. Okay, so question and answer time. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You cannot run this battery in conjunction with our lead acid battery in your vehicle. The lead acid battery sits at 12.5 volts. This thing rests, resting voltage for it, is 14.7 volts. So, if you put this in line with a lead acid battery that sits at 12.5 volts, the 12.5 volt battery will pull this lithium battery down to 12.5, rendering it almost useless. So, I built this thing so I could charge it up to 16 volts. Right now we're keyed. We're pulling a ton of amp load on this battery with a 16 pill. Hello, making 4,000 ish watts. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. All by itself. There's no charge leads attached or anything. We started out at 15.7 volts three and a half minutes ago. And all I'm doing is taking a pause. I'm on, I'm on key and letting the amp cool off, get some air across the transistors, which are incredibly expensive. They make these in hardened cases that will fit in your stock battery locations underneath the hood of any vehicle. Your Ford, your Dodge, your Chevy, your Toyota Tundra, your Honda Accord. This will go in its stock location. In a hard, impact rated, pre-assembled, guaranteed, certified from excess power case. With this and the marrying of a supercapacitor, you can sit there and get away with bloody, stinking murder. Hey Scott, Donald, Robert, welcome in. These cells are about $57 a piece. So 57, 57, 57, 57, 57, 57. That gets you half of this battery. 57, 57, 57, 57, 57, 57, 57. But if you think about it, the overall cost of the lot, big giant lead acid batteries that most people have been running. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, Todd, Mr. Freeman. Hello, Tori. Hello, Eric. Hello, 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 hello. Well, to answer that question, Josh King, we are going to be putting them in a Vovo here in just a couple months. Mike Million, Paul Reynolds, Donald, Nick. Hello, guys. Welcome in. 
We're going to be putting them in my buddy's Volvo here in just a little bit. But oh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That's right. New technology. This little tiny battery is running a 16 pill right now, all by itself, with no charge. But oh, one, two, one, two, one, two. Think of how long we've keyed this thing for and where we started out at. Our resting voltage was a full volt higher than this when we started. Full volt higher than this when we started. So think about this for a hot minute. Hello, oh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. There's no alternator supplementing this whatsoever. We're running just strictly on amperage inside this battery. Hello, what oh, what oh, what oh, what oh, what oh, what oh, what oh. Yeah, inside of Vovo, Josh, is what we're talking about. So we're just sitting here, we're running this thing, because I had a lot of people ask, well, how long will it work underneath operation without any extra charge or additional anything? And I said, a long time. And they said, well, what does that mean? And I said, well, it means this, a long time. Now, you guys on YouTube, please pardon that I'm speaking really loud. It's because I'm also doing a live feed on Facebook, and the microphone in the, in the phone sucks compared to the studio mic I have hanging on my chest. So I have to yell at y'all. So, hello Craig, hello Jeremy, hello Mr. Robert, game changer for sure. Now I want you to think about this. Oh, still making our 4,000 watts. We started at 15 volts. Oh, we're not fully depleted till we get to 12. And that's where the test is gonna end is at 12 volts. But oh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now let me just reassure you all, I feel like an idiot myself. And let me explain to you why. My battery bank underneath my workbench after seven years decided it was gonna go tits for south, okay? Everything got sulfonated, everything got sulfonated. So I had to go and replace all of my batteries. And so what I did, let's key up here again, is I went out and I bought a whole bunch of excess power D7500 series batteries, six of them. Okay, like $4,900 worth of batteries. Oh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And they all rest at 12 volts. And so then I put them underneath my workbench and I went back to what I was doing. Then here we are a couple months later, they show up with these lithium cells and they're like, here, this is groundbreaking technology. I was like, yes, yes it is. For an eighth the price, I could have had four of these banks of batteries, one, two, three, four, and I would not need anything else for my workspace versus a giant spot that's bigger than my workbench that has to hold lead acid batteries and I'm going to have to replace here in the near future. But oh, one, two, one, two, one, two. 13.5 resting voltage is now just a hair below 14 volts. We've been keying it now for eight minutes with no supplemental current coming into the batteries. Nothing's getting hot other than the transistor sitting over there making 107 degree heat. Oh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, Jake. Hello, Daryl. Hello, Dennis. Hello, Scott. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, one, two, audio. Got down. Michael. What's going on, Mike? Scott? Oh, there's old 71 ding dang. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, one, two, audio, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, audio, one, two, one, two. Once again, I want to reiterate to the guys that are just tuning in live on Facebook that we are running a 16 pill all by itself off of this battery. Been going at this so long, the uh, clamp over ampering timed out. And we started at 15 volts. Ugh, come here. We started at 15 volts, 15.7 I do believe. And we're seeing how long we can key it without any supplemental charge before it drops down to below or at 12 volts where the battery is going to be fully discharged. Hello, one, two, 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 audio. Hey, what's going on, Gerald? Jake? Michael? 
Hello, one two one two one two. Welcome to the live feed, guys. Hello, how do you go? One two one two one two. Hello, hello, hello. Still swinging over there, far in a corner. We're at thirteen point eight one. Thirteen point eight one. Now I'm key, I'm just keying and I'm unkeying, keying and then unkeying. I'm letting the amplifier get some cool air through it, kind of like how we'd use it in the real world. Hello, 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 hello. To answer your question yet again, you cannot run this with a lead acid battery. You have to remove the lead acid battery from your system. Once you do that and replace it with a lithium. Yes, your alternator will charge this particular style of battery with no modifications to the electrical system in your vehicle whatsoever. Hello, audio, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, audio, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, audio, one, two, one, two. Please note, we're keying the amplifier at a half a kilowatt dead key. So it's not like we're doing this all swing. We're putting a significant amp load of 130 to 140 amps on the battery when we key up. And we're swinging past that. We're up to about 340, almost 400 amps underneath modulated pressure. That is a 1000 watt slug and peak and that is a 1000 watt and 5x. So reading like a 5000 watt scale. 1000, 5000. So you can get this to focus on the big camera just a hair bit better for everybody. Hello, one two, one two, one two, one two, one two, one two. Hello, one two, one two, one two. Hello, one 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 one. Says twelve straight minutes of operation, and we still have not dropped down to what a normal red lead acid battery rests at. Why is that so important? Why do I keep saying that? Let's ask ourselves that question. Let's have that conversation amongst us as friends. Because in your stock electrical system in your vehicle, you are running 100% on the alternator until you get to 12.5 volts. So the alternator is having to do 100% of the work until you get the voltage pulled down to 12.5 volts. If you can put a battery in there that allows you to charge to 14 and a half, 15 volts and then sit there with no load on the electrical system, the battery and the alternator combined will help you achieve and maintain this voltage and keep it that stable. Hello, audio, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello. This is not a capacitor. This is a battery. Battery, not a capacitor. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, my flare just timed out, so now I don't know how hot my amp's getting. Woo! Okay. Let's see, what's our air temperature at at the moment? There it is. 136. All right. Hello, one two 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 one two. Hello, one two one two one two one two one two one two one two. Hello, one two one two one two one two one two one two one two. Please note we're fluctuating by like maybe two tenths of a volt. That's it, and we're slowly dragging the voltage down, but we're only fluctuating by two tenths of a volt. So we have to keep in mind that I don't want to let my transistors, the actual internal temperature of the transistors get to be somewhere over about 150 degrees because then we end up having this thing called migration that takes place inside the transistor where the, the siliconite that makes up the transistor starts to migrate through the circuit and then we end up having uh, lower HFE gains and then we end up having failure. Well, I figured out that after all that electrical energy gets transferred into heat into the operation of the transistor, about 130 degrees is where I want to come off the key. Hello, one two, one two, one two, one two, one two. Roger. Hello, Daisy. Josh again. Robert. Big heavy aluminum bars tie these things together. Yep, big thick mass. Big thick mass. Use thick material. That's right. 
Robert, that's crazy. Josh, uh-oh. Kurt Smith. Hello, Luke. Kurt Smith waving. Hi, Kurt. Waving right back to you. Just standing here talking so I can push up the modulation on this thing. Hello. Audio 121212. We're at 136. Got to let the amplifier cool off for just a second. So 15 minutes later of operation, and our resting voltage is at 13.5. We're still a full volt above a lead acid battery. And remember, we have not put any supplemental charge on this battery whatsoever. It is very clear. I don't know how else to make it. How many amps am I pulling? Well, it says right there on the amp gauge, and I don't know if you can read it clearly enough, but we're pulling about 350 amp spikes on it. We've been keying it now for about 15 minutes straight, running a 16 pill on it. Hello, one two, one two, one two, one two, one two, one two, audio, one two, one two, one two. Once again, you guys, we started out at 15.7 volts. So we've been running this whole time, almost 15 minutes, with no help from anything other than just this battery. And it is a battery, it's not a super capacitor. Hello, 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 hello. One two, one two, one two, one two. Oh, uh, Michael Lloyd wants to see underneath the battery. And if you want to sit there and hold on when we finish the test, instead of me having to interrupt the whole test to satisfy your one piece of curiosity, yes, we will flip the battery over and I'll show you the entire thing in a 360 pattern to prove transparency on this test. But I'm not going to do it in the middle of the test regimen. 16 minutes later. Got to let the amp cool off for a second. We're at 13.5. So each one of the cells of the battery if you guys haven't watched the YouTube video of me building this yet, each one of the cells is 3.2 volts. So we stack all that up. We're going to take 3.2 volts, this is the suggested operating voltage for this thing, and we stack that up. So we're going to stack up six cells, it turns out to be about 13.8. So right now we're right in the butter zone of this battery. Now, as a test, not too long ago, at 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. What I did is I charged this thing to 15, 2, and then I set it aside for four days. The voltage never dissipated, dropped, fell out, backed off, came down, or walked away from 15.2 volts in four days. At 0, audio, 1, 2, 1, 2, audio, 1, 2, 1, 2. So you were at 13.1, 13.2, 17 minutes of talk time later, consistently pulling 130, 150 amps, Seen about 275 out of it that time. Making 3,500 watts peak. With only about 600 watts of drive. So we're starting to lose ground. Remember when we started at 15.7, we were at 4,500 volt watts. That makes sense? Just trying to be as transparent as I can and help explain this again and again and again and again and again. I was so excited when I did the first YouTube video on these things. I was just shocked. I couldn't believe how well it hold current. I, mean, I put a thousand amp load on that for I think a total of maybe three and a half minutes. And it held it. It stayed above 12 volts. That's breathtaking. The cost per cell versus the cost of lead acid batteries that you have to replace every couple years in your big shootout, you know, DC mobiles versus the size and weight, this beats every single parameter that you can put out there. Cost, weight, charge, duty cycle, safety, <laughs> water resistant. <laughs> you just can't beat it, man. But Still making 3,800 watts. Hello, audio, 1212, 1212. Oh, Walter. Oh, Joe. Hello, and oh, 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 and oh. See, my good friend, Spaceman here, we're talking about taking all the lead acid out of his Volvo and replacing it with just a couple of these lithiums and being done with it. Hello. At 0, 1, 2, 1, 2. But there's something to be said about mass storage, bulk storage, especially in an application where you're in a semi. So let's talk about that for a hot minute. If you're in a semi truck, at night, you might want to shut your truck off and maybe run your inverter or maybe run your microwave. 
or have your dome lights on all night long? You don't know. I don't know. I'm not judging. Maybe you need to plug in your cigarette lighter vibrator and do your thing with yourself. I don't know. I'm not judging. Like I said, I could care less. For bulk storage, slow discharge like what you would use on a deep cycle battery or the big lot of acids that you're in your semi, well at this price point you can literally afford to double down and still come out money ahead because in the next two years when you've got to go replace all your batteries again these things will still be perfectly fine. Think about it. Okay now that the amps cooled completely down we're down to 127 degrees. Hello, let's quit talking. Get back on this mall. And hey, what's going on Tommy Gilligan? Joe Thompson, Merry Christmas to you. Michael Hamilton, welcome. Michael Dunn, welcome. Hello. Hello. Les says I know truck drivers. Hey man, we're all in this game together. Truck drivers, tow truck drivers, transportation specialists, dildo replacement, you know, technicians. We're all in this game together. Hello. And, and you ask yourself, what is a dildo replacement technician? That is a guy that is trying to make a lesbian go straight, by the way. Hello, one, two, 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 one, two. Hello, 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 hello. We're still at 12.9. 23 minutes in on this test. Hello, 20 minutes in on this test. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello. One two 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 one two. One forty-seven. Gotta let the box cool down. Well, Gerald, I'll I'll make you a deal, buddy. You can buy this amplifier I'm using right now for this this test for your convenience. And then you can hook it up and you can make it dead key, whatever you want. But I'm not going to go and change in the middle of the test, Gerald, our test parameters to satisfy your question. That would completely negate the entire test. We have to stay consistent, you guys. We have to do the same thing from beginning to end. What Gerald wants me to do is he wants me to run a big dead key and just hold it there. And blow up my, blow up my equipment, damage my equipment, and completely ruin the test. So he can have ideas of what this will do for a max amp load. Well, if Gerald would watch the original YouTube video, which is the last one to come out, so all you gotta do is go to my YouTube channel on YouTube, go on videos and go look it up. It's sitting right there, and I put over a 1,000 amp solid hardcore load on this thing, straight out the hop. I'm like literally dropping on the shorting bar. 1,000 amp load. Hello, one two one two audio one two one two one two one two one two hello one two one two one two one two one two one two hello one two one two audio Robert Mike Matt what's some temperatures on these batteries I don't know that's a good question let's find out here real quick while we let the amp cool off um is showing me that the positive terminal on the battery is about eighty degrees. Our ambient air temperature is about 74, and over here on this terminal it is showing me about 88 degrees, 87 degrees. The top temperature on the cells is 75.5, and the power wire actually going into the amplifier is hotter than the battery sitting there ice cold. That was a good question. I'm glad you asked that question. I appreciate that. Hello, one two one two audio one two one two one two one two. Hello, audio 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 one 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 one. Uh, Mr. Lee, I hope that answered your question, brother. Josh, I guess you did nail it. Tim Counts, hey BBI, what's going on? <laughs> oh well, we're dead keying a 500 watt carrier on a 16 pill. We're letting it modulate forward. We're doing a double blind ended test where we're showing the amperage coming out, powering the amp, the voltage on the battery. The battery has no charge on it. This is our timer of the test. Right now, hello, one, two, one, two. Hello. We're holding at 12.8. 
and we've been doing this for over a half hour. Well, almost a whole half hour. Let's move this up so everybody in YouTube land can enjoy it as well. 24 minutes and 56 seconds. Now, I have to back out of this from time to time. I have to let some cool air go inside the 16 pill. I don't feel like tearing up my 16 pill just for this video because it's brand new and it's really pretty and I can't wait you guys to see it. It is the end of your video and um, I do some other really cool stuff with it. But oh, one, two, one, two, one, two. Audio, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, 409. Mr. Triple Seven, or not Triple Seven, Double Seven, or yeah, Paul Browning, Triple Two. What's going on, buddy? So I've been running this live feed for about a half hour now, and what I'm showing here is brand new battery technology. This is a battery, by the way. I'm losing people, I'm gaining people back on Facebook, you guys. This is what's going on here on YouTube land. I'm doing a dual video at the moment, and we're keying up a 16 pill, and we're running it off this battery with no charge, and we're seeing how long it has to go for us to get down to 12.5 normal lead acid battery voltage. Oh, putting 600 watts of drive into a 16 pill. We've been keying it for 26 minutes with no supplemental charge. Oh, we're still sitting above 12.5, you guys. You should be impressed. I was blown away. My mind started melting. I ran this test in the in the previous YouTube video and it blew my mind. When I was able to put over a thousand, like 1200 amp solid, dead, dead mall, dead short, 1200 amp load on this battery and it hold it for minutes, like two minutes on video, I was blown away. Hello, oh, one, two, one, two, audio, one, two. Oh, Kurt, I thought I was a 409 South Arizona. Man, I don't know. You put your own numbers up there. I don't know. Running a 2 by 6 or straight 8, something like this with 12 cells. Or what I need, 6. You need 6 to hook it up on an independent charging system, by the way. 6 was all you'd need for a 2 by 6 or an 8 pill. Hello, 1, 2. Adio, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Hello, hello, hello. Still not going down below 12.5. And we're 27 minutes into this test. Hello, adio, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Hello, adio, 1, 2, 1, 2. Hello, audio, 121212. Roger, Roger, Roger. Uh, hello, Charles. Welcome. Hello back to you. Chris Fillmore. Very impressive BBI. I still want to know if you're, what your radio is doing driving that with. Oh. You need to go back and watch the beginning of this video or come watch it on YouTube and I show all of those things at the very beginning. We're putting 600 watts peak into a 16 pill. 600 watts peak into the 16 pill with a 2950 driving a 4 pill. So it's 2950 driving 4 pill, driving 16 pill. At the beginning of the video when the battery was fully charged at 15.7 volts, we were achieving 4500 watts easily with only 600 watts of drive. <sighs> uh, Leo, Jesse, George, welcome guys. Yes, I'm using a Radio Shack handheld walkie-talkie. That is correct. Hello, one two one two one two one two audio. Hello, one two one two. Hello, audio one two one two. Come on, drop, man. I'm starting to lose my voice here. One two. One 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 one. Hello. Now, <clears throat> this is bordering on abuse to this amplifier. Bordering on abuse to this amplifier. Because I'm not letting the amplifier cool down and I'm making it run harder than what you would normally use it in communication as you're driving down the road. Think about it, you know I'm telling the truth. I have it all shut off, Josh. I do, I have my phone sh shut off. Hello, one two one two one two one two one two one two one two. Hello, one two one two. Two point three volts per cell, bud. Two point three volts per cell. Scott, Scott wants to know. For us that came in late, give us the specifications on the cells, volt, amp ratings per cell. Well, once again, if you would have watched the YouTube video on the specific construction of this battery, Scott, you would know exactly what it was. These are two point three volt, thirty five amp hour cells. Six of them in series. So that's two batteries in parallel. All right. 
Now we all know. Once again. Hello, 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 hello. Audio, one, two, one, two, one, two. Our amp gauge is timed out once again. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, audio. Please note with a lead acid battery, you guys, that it doesn't start working until 12.5 and you're not going to get any voltage out of this son, son of a bitch until you're down to about 11.5. And they're not going to show you any real amperage dump until you're down to around 10 volts. Hence this, this fancy sales term that everybody's come up with called cold cranking volts. When you go to start your car, they rate, it, the, they rate the damn thing, the cranking volts, at a 10, 10 and a half, 10 point something volt load. Can you guys see the difference between a lead acid and a lithium in the time that you're able to operate it without adding any charge to the battery? Hello, that's full output right now. Hello, we're still at about 3,500 watts. Hello, that's a very good question. John wants to know if I can arc weld with the battery pack. You know what, John? I think when we're done with all of these tests that I got to do, the installation video and the mobile that I got to do for excess power, um, all the other stuff that you got to do when it comes to getting products like this from a company and testing it, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do an arc weld test with it. Pretty sure. Hello, one, two, one, da, 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 You know, just before I started this, I hit start on camera number one over here. Hit start on camera number two over here. I thought, you know, maybe I should go in and get myself a drink of water before I start this. And I thought, nah, I'll be fine. I think that was a mistake. I really do. Hello, one, 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 one. Hello, one, 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 one. Hello. One 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 one. Hello, Joey. Once again, hello, Robert. Hello. One 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 one. Excess power lithium batteries are pretty fucking shitty. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. They are the shit. Hello. Audio one two. I'm getting bored, you guys. I don't know about y'all. I'm 32 minutes in this thing and starting to lose my voice. Sitting at 12.5 volts. If this doesn't answer everybody's question on how long you can operate one of these without any supplemental current from the charge system, like your alternator or bench power supply, I don't know what will. Um, the other thing that I think is really quite cool about these batteries is that you can go and take like a 50 amp, um, let's say like Astron power supply. Spend the $500 on this, $550 on this, hook your Astron to this, use the Astron to charge it. Once the battery is fully charged, it doesn't represent a load to the power supply. So one, it's not going to burn up the power supply like it would on a regular lead acid battery. And two, two, you're not going to burn the battery up. Think about what I just said. It'll sink in. And what I mean by that, let's key this up again. Hit oh and two is that you can tie this in tandem with the power supply at your house instead of going out and spending like five thousand dollars on a big ass big ass ba uh, power supply you can run on batteries these don't vent they don't put off any gas they require no maintenance they're semi puncture resistant in this form they make them in a puncture proof cabinet they're water resistant but you can literally attach this underneath your bench and as we've shown here on video you'll have enough current to run a 16 pill for over a half an hour without even having to turn on the power supply and your voltage will stay up let that sink in for just a few minutes but oh one 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 i think how handy that's going to be when you have the power go out at your in your shack you'll be able to turn you don't have to do anything just turn on your radios and you'll be starting at 14.5 volts instead of starting at 12, pulling down to 10. Hello, one two, one two, one two, one two, one two, one two, audio, one two, one two, one two, audio. Hello, one two, one 
two, one, two, one, two. Ah, one, 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 one. You guys watching in YouTube land, keep in mind that this is not showing peak. This is an average meter. You guys watching in Facebook land, this is an average amp meter, not peak. That's another very good question. So the question has been posed, do we need a balancing system for this battery bank? And the full up honest answer to that is yes and no. If it's brand new lithium and you know the condition of each one of the cells, like if let's say you buy these brand new from excess power, I would not be too concerned about having a, a balancing system the way that most of these guys are gonna go about running these things. Now that being said, hello, that being said, a balancing system is very necessary. And what they mean by balancing system is that you're going to tie into the positive and negative of each one of the cells of the battery. You're going to feed it an independent voltage source, and it's going to constantly meter the voltage that's on each one of the cells and make them be balanced in the charging process. That's what they mean by a balancing system, you guys. Yes. Yes, yes. I would say that a balancing system is, is useful. It's not anything I'm gonna concern myself with. And that, that liability falls on each end user. I don't feel that I'm gonna have enough abusive cycles on this battery to even worry about it, to be honest with you. But oh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, audio, one, two, one, two. Where this battery is gonna go live, it's got a 500 amp, least, or a 500 amp Mechman alternator going to one super capacitor, going to this battery, going to um, a 1500 farad supercapacitor going to the amplifier. This thing is not going to see a lot of voltage load. So I'm not too worried about having an individual cell get pulled down too low, become unbalanced and blow up. But oh, one, two, one, two, one, two. I'm 37 minutes into this test. We're still not down below 12.5. I mean, we're barely starting to cusp it. We're not down below 12.5 on our resting voltage. And I think I'm going to call it quits once I can get the battery to pull down to 12 volts. Which, I mean, I'm, freaking mind is blown. At 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, at 0. I mean, we're still at 12.4 volts and we're making 3,800 watts. The same amount of power we were making at 13.5. They're rated for a negative 30 to a positive 130. And uh, I don't know. I guess I could go throw it in a freezer or we could go look at the data sheet. I don't know. Off the top of my head, I don't remember, John, to answer the question. The question was, will they lose power in the cold weather? And I don't know to answer that question. I don't believe so. But oh, da 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 well, Scott, if you buy the pre-assembled one from Excess Power that's in a regular battery enclosure, yes, they would come with a warranty. At oh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. They make these in a 12 volt, a 14 volt, a 16 volt setup. This is currently the 14 volt setup, which you can max charge to 15.8 volts. At oh, would you drop on down? I want to be done. My throat's getting hoarse. Getting tired of looking at this. At oh, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. 40 minutes into this test. 38 minutes and 42 seconds. At oh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. At oh, audio, 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 da, 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 Oh, 12.24. Hello, one, two, one, two. Hey, Steve, I know you're watching. Steve Brockus, are you watching? Yeah, the exhaust air temperature on the 16 pills up to 127 degrees. We're okay. Steve, you still here, buddy? 
Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, audio, audio. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Can you text my wife and ask her to bring me a glass of water, Steve? Friggin' die in my throat. Feels like it's got razor blades in it. Thanks, bro. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Audio, da, 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 da. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, audio. Michael Mullion, you still here, buddy? Yeah, we're still here doing this same silly test 40 minutes later. Disproving some theories. That's all I got to say about that. I'm starting to wonder what's going to happen first. I run out of video and the SD card on the camera. I run out of battery on the camera. I run out of battery on that phone. Or I run out of battery on this phone. Because I'm starting to lose faith. Woo! What is the ref of that 16 pill of low volt? I don't know. Type that in something I understand. I don't know what you mean. Bring that man water, Eric Phil says. <laughs> Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Breaker, 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 breaker. Uh. Richard, welcome. Oh, he wants to know the reflag. Okay, well, you can wait until I watch the YouTube video that I produce on this amplifier that I'm using to do this test. It's coming out here at the very end of the year, and that meter's in there. That's not what we're here to talk about today. We're here to talk about this brand new battery, this new technology. <sighs> Hello, one, two, 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 one, two. Hello, break one nine, breaker one nine, breaker one nine. 41 minutes with no supplemental charge whatsoever. Hey, derail, welcome. Hold on a second. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Once again, what we're here testing, and you guys are trying to get, get sidetracked and worried about other stuff, is we're here testing to see how long we can run a 16 pill off of this little tiny 5x17 battery, five, 5 inches wide, 17 inches long, how long we can run it without any supplemental charge. Hello, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Oh, thank you, my angel. Love, or are you dehydrating? My throat feels like razor blades. Feels like razor blades. Thank you. You're oh, man. Okay. That nah, you'll be fine. Mm -mm. Oh, God bless my wife. Thanks, Steve. <clears throat> okay. Hello, one two one two one two one two one two. Hello, 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 hello. One two, one two, one two, one two. So we've been rough keying this thing for about forty three minutes. We're still above twelve point five. Remember, we started at about fifteen point seven or fifteen point six. Hello, that's our resting voltage, by the way. Hello, 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 hello. And we're going to run this thing to full depletion which is under load 12 volts. And I highly doubt we're going to get there before I run out of video footage in all the cameras. <laughs> Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Let's see, what's my exhaust air temperature on the 16 pill? We're at 121 degrees. Hello, audio, one, two, one, two, Roger, Roger, Roger. Hey, Shy Davis, finally made it around. Hey, my wife's finally tuned in. Baby, I wish you were watching just a little bit ago. I would ask you for a glass of water. And once again, thank you, Mr. Steve. I appreciate it. Here, we'll just sit here and throw a 500 watt carrier for a second or two. <laughs> Hello, audio one, two, one, two. Oh, we're getting close. Thank holy Jesus, we're getting close. I'm getting bored with this test. This is absolutely the most game-changing technology I've come up with or come across so far. This is nothing I've invented. This is a product that is made by somebody else. 
I'm just wanting everybody on the radio world to get their head wrapped around it. Hello. One, two, one, two. Once again, let's stop and think about this. If we had an alternator attached to this, your voltage would never dip. It would never dip. This little tiny battery is doing all the work. And it's been doing it now for 45 minutes. Hello, one, two, one, two. Come on, get down there. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. What are we up? We're at 126. Hello, one, two, one, two. Oh, I've seen it. Oh, I've seen it almost. 12. Hold it. Hello, 11.94. We're done. We're finally done. Okay. A couple of the questions. We're going to pause that. So I'll roughly say we can run one of these batteries for 45 minutes without any supplemental charge. With anything from the outside, give me some thumbs up. Come on. We just ran a 16 pill off this little battery for 45 minutes, making 3,500 plus watts worth of power for 45 minutes off this little 5 inch wide, 17 inch long battery. Come on! <laughs> Tori, these are cheap. Each one of these little round discs is about 57 bucks. So about $300 per side roughly. Oh my god. Am I glad to be done with this test. Okay. Official numbers are in. 45. 45 minutes. Now, one of the questions that I had come up that I thought was really important and I wanted to validate it. So he wanted to see the whole battery all the way around and I don't blame him. There you go. There's nothing underneath it. Nothing attached. Let's go this direction with it. <sighs> Nothing attached to that battery at all. Just the 16 pill. And that was a very healthy, good question to ask. Because we can't have honesty in this game without transparency. Look, you hook one of these batteries together and then you put couple this with a 16 pill your voltage I swear to God I know y'all can remember back when we were 16 years old and a little soft breeze would come through the room or you know heck we would see uh, <clears throat> one of our fellow classmates in junior high walk down the hallway and all of a sudden oh shit gotta go gotta go it's gonna be that hard it's gonna be stiff stiff as a brick so once again, if you didn't see the information here that you want to see, you can go back and rewatch this from the very beginning. Um, give me about an hour and I'll have this video up on YouTube for everybody to look at. Just a straight raw bench test of what this lithium battery can do with a 16 pill and how long we can operate it for. That's it. I'm done. Goodbye. Good night. I appreciate every single one of you. Big shout out to Excess Power. And a big thanks to my wife for bringing me the water and I appreciate you, Steve. Thank you very much, bud. We'll see you guys. Bye-bye.